but <laughs> but yeah this stuff is literally just god this is just fucking pure nostalgia it's taken me too long to play the sonic games on this channel and then of course i am playing the ps2 version because one that's the version i grew up with and two it has the d-pad as the main controller bit Real gamers don't go, oh, motion keyboard is bad. Oh, Xbox controller is bad. No. Real gamers adapt their controls with the game they're playing. Okay, I don't I don't want the demo. I just want to play the game. Don't you know what, though? PlayStation controller is a little bit small. And that's saying something, noting that I have titchy fucking hands. I have failed the first jump. I am gamer. So yeah, Sonic 1 just like... Alright, there's like some items back here, aren't there? Nope, I'm thinking of the Mania version. <laughs> God, that is just pure nostalgia. If I don't get hit... Twice, then I should be able to get the ring. Okay, I nearly missed it. <laughs> That's how you prove that you're not Aaron Hansen. I'm probably not gonna bother getting all of the emeralds. I'm just doing this because I don't want to save state, so I actually want to get a few continues. Let's actually talk about the game. So obviously, this game does scream first game syndrome. Oh my god, do I have to... As you can see, because we lack the fucking spin Nash, we literally can't just rapidly build up speed like we can inside of the... I literally fell where I didn't want to fall. Oh god, these headphones are legit fucking off my autism. <laughs> wow, Sonic fan being autistic, what a surprise. Let's continue on. And yeah, as you can tell from my approach playing Sonic, it's not really about speed. Speed is certainly nice, but it's more about, you know, not about conserving lives in order to complete it without a continue. Well, not so much without a continue, without cheating. Because, you know, older games, you can certainly just justify it with... The, oh, it's too hard. But this game, no, it isn't actually that hard. These stages are like... Oh, and I lost my shield. Nice. This really how slow he was. Okay, well, alright. Let's avoid that. Go a little early so he can't hit me. For some reason, I thought this boss would have been faster, but... No. And, you know, fairly simple, but it's the first boss. And throughout all of that, I didn't actually talk about the sound design or even graphics. And well, what can I really say about it? It was fantastic at the time, pushing Sega's blast processing. And obviously it was just like... I mean, just look at it. It still looks... It is far more stylized than the earlier game, than the later games. Like, you know, Marble Zone, for example. You would not see an act like this in fucking Sonic Lost World. Or Sonic Forces. But yeah, just like the music in this game. It's not nearly as good as its later entries, but like... 
It is so fucking iconic. And just these... These aesthetics, like, sure. The level design itself isn't exactly too extravagant, but... You can't deny that these stages are just... They are just something else. And you know what, after this I'm definitely buying a new pair of headphones. Fucking hell, this is annoying me. <laughs> okay, I don't need that shield, so I shall conserve it. Not that I need to, but actually... This is why you conserve shields. Because yeah, that is one thing that I do love about the 50 ring requirement. And that's one thing I don't like about the ring system, crush damage. Well, no, it just gives me more time to talk. And yeah, these stage gimmicks, you know, not the most exciting things in the world, but you know. It's only the second level and it's already quite treacherous, to be fair. And I really shouldn't have lost the shield in such a stupid manner. But, what can you do? Wait, that's the end? Bruh. <laughs> oh, I just hope that I'm not pulling a Aaron Hansen too much in this. Like, I did manage to get into a bonus stage, so I'm definitely not being Game Grumps, but I am doing a lot of stupid decisions. Yep, we... Okay, you can fuck off and made that. <laughs> and then... Why is up with the animation glitching? Like, I've been managing to get a lot of visual glitches with this run for some fucking reason. I'm not sure whether or not it's the... Mega Collection being glitchy, or if it is... Genuinely just how the game was. I could get a Mega Drive to test, but, you know, then I would have to bother doing all that setup and just like, I know how to do it, it's just I don't want to spend more money. Okay, that's just me being stupid. Stop pulling a Aaron Hansen! Fucking hell. Anyway. Yeah, just jump over the fire. As you can see, I don't even care. I don't- I'm not getting the 50 rings. <laughs> yeah, more rings, and more importantly... Wait, they don't give me points? I can't remember what score is needed in order to... Fuck. I do know that I need to get, like, a decently high score in order to get a continue, so, you know. There we go. If you go fail, you go fail far, so you don't lose everything. Or at least you don't spend time getting aggravated. Because, yeah, that's the thing about Sonic. It does... It has a very low skill seal... Well, very low skill floor, but it has a very high skill ceiling with, you know, the... With the emerald requirements, you know, having to hold on to the 50 rings within the stage. And, you know, be having to actually go out of your way to collect that many. And yeah, if this... If I'm only able to get 50 rings on the Act 3s, I am actually just going to be a little annoyed. <laughs> but yeah, just like... This music is definitely not something I would listen to, but... Why did I not pick up any? Why did I not pick up any rings? What the fuck? Ah, uh, this game over music is iconic, and that commentary was shit, so... Yeah, the next video... 
will be split into acts based on me being successful so hope you enjoy or not I don't really care I just want to play Sonic holy shit look at this epic gameplay guys oh my god I am like so fucking amazing at the game that bonk was a bit annoying but yeah I'm not even gonna let that joke Continue, it was so shit. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, Green Hill Zone. What can really be said about this? It's just so fucking iconic. Like, literally, the music, the stage aesthetic. It's like greenery, river, waterfall, and mountains in the background. Even though this is like heavily generic nowadays, back in the day, this was definitely like different to Mario things and just the amount of effort to put into these aesthetics. Yeah, this this was the reason why Sega was able to compete with Nintendo. They just weren't really doing any of this stuff back in the day. And then, of course, just like the checkerboard grass, the music. It's just like... This is peak. Yeah, this is just... No. No. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Question is, do I restart? No, I'm not going to be that petty. <laughs> So yeah, that does, that is one issue with the game, and that is, well, one critique, is just how your control locks up when you get the fucking, well, how easy it is to actually miss the rings, which is, you know, noting that it is, required for the good ending and they don't give you any favours trying to reach it yeah and then of course here's the infamous spike section I'm hopefully going to make look like a joke okay I did so yeah obviously bombless pits inside of the first zone definitely isn't nice game design let's say that and then two. Oh my fucking god! Where are the two extra rings? <laughs> I done that. No hit. Where's my rings? Okay. So yeah, obviously this game. It has a very low skill floor. At least in comparison to older games, like, you know, NES hard, that crap. Okay, that was just me being stupid. Now, don't get hit because I have no wings. There we go. And I could have sworn that texture just sort of glitched and one of the rings didn't make a noise. I'm unsure whether or not it was these issues are due to, you know, Mega Collection, or if it is actually a gameplay issue. Ah. Oh. No, nope, I can't gain enough height. That is fair enough. Don't really care. And God, this slowdown is something else. These older ge Sonic games really aren't. Oh my God. Let me, let me do the roll. There we go. And then yeah, that brings us onto the lack of a spin dash. The cardinal sin of this Sonic game. It's kind of funny how one of Sonic's most iconic moves are actually a result of a sequel instead of, well, you know, his origin game. And then, of course, we'll allow him to swing his big ball about. 
just hide in the corner. It's a fairly simple strategy, but hey, it's the first boss. And yeah, that texture is very flickery. And I don't really like that. It's not exactly hard to look at, it's just not really... It's not hard to look at, it's just not very appealing. But other than that, the Green Hill pretty much has superb fucking graphic design and shit. There we go, headphones, stay like that. That's better. Still naff, but hey, Turtle Beach is a scam, what can I say? So, of course, Marble Zone. Can we just say how unique this actually is in terms of the series? Like, Lava Ruins. This is not a thing that you would see inside of modern Sonic games, which is actually really depressing. Like, you know, even back in these days, the series was so fucking imaginative. And can I stop playing like Aaron Hansen, please? That, that'd be fantastic. Like, I would actually like to show off the special stages, thank you. Like, all I really need now is a shield. Yes, this... I am in a comfortable position now. So yeah, of course... People do go on about this stage being very fucking slow, but... Person... Ooh, that was close. Personally, aside from pushing these blocks... You can go decently fast within these stages, ironically enough. Like... Like, I do get the issues with the game being quite a bit slower than its later entries. And yeah, that bonk definitely removes all momentum. Okay, can you fall? Thank you very much. And then... Yeah. But yeah, I just like these really purple textures and shit. Like... Mind the Minecraft nerd in me, but it's like everything's just made out of purple blocks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna risk that one. There we go. And then we continue. We yeet ourselves into the air, boys. And that's how we get into the special stages. You slow the fuck down. And now we can actually get some of those points needed for continue. Because, yeah, I'm not doing save states in this game. I'm mostly just trying to get... I'm probably not going to go out my way for rings after this, but... Okay, maybe I should have just went for the exit. <laughs> oh well. Little bit of score. But yeah, those special stages, uh... They're a bit wank to control, personally, but... I know, there's worse special stages. They certainly have their charm to them with their unique... ...control style. Certainly better than the Sonic 4 renditions, that's for sure. At least the physics actually makes sense. And then, just like... Well, I got sniped, but whatever. There's more rings down here, and then didn't exactly pick up any. Like, yeah, this is the stuff that I'm talking about. Like, I'm already at the infamous lava section just 30 seconds into the stage okay that's just me being bad <laughs> not always good to rush because now I just wasted a life for no reason 
when I literally don't have any continues. When I've had the opportunity to get two emeralds by now, so that'd have been a guaranteed continue in terms of score, but eh, you live and learn. And yeah, I'm still here 30 seconds in with the faffing about. So yeah, you can just use the damage boost to get through quickly if you don't feel like playing good. That is one evil spring, holy fuck. Don't... I thought that guy died, but no, he just exploded so he respawns. You can't pick up rings while you're standing in lava, that is good to know. And then, yeah, just spin dash through them. Kind of really need a shield, to be fair. Because I've got no rings to damage boost through, because I kind of forgot that you can't really do it when... Yikes. No, wait, I can go in there. That is exactly what I needed, game. Thank you very much. And then it gives me an out. Of course, I do have to go through this section again, and it's not exactly going to give me the lava, but... Meh. At least... At least I got my blocks. It is... And like, yeah, that is one thing that I do really like about Sonic game design. It's not specifically about going the fastest path. A bit of exploration is required. And it's not like, well, it's rewarded. The thing I don't really like about open world games is the fact that that exploration, well, it's... It isn't that it's not rewarded, it's more so that it's magnatory. Like, I do get that it's the appeal of some of those games, but sometimes you just want to play an adventure game for its mechanics. You don't exactly care too much about scavenging around for items. Like, you know, in terms of Minecraft. Some of the fun is... Seeing how much you can avoid grinding. Okay, this is literally the end of stage. I don't really care. Well, no, it isn't actually. Let's go into this bunker to grab some items. I just need to get 10k. No, I 100k in order to fuck. Oh, that was bollocked. Oh well. Certainly a nice way to go for the head, that's for sure. And a nice bit of own vulnerability. Exactly what you need to get through these sections. And I can't reach that caterpillar, so I can't use it to kill them nice. Speaking of which, yeah, this invulnerability music, it is pretty fucking dope. And yeah, this is the end. No special ring. Woe is me. But yeah, just like the mountains in the background, huge trees, gone through lava filled ruins. Even back in these days, Sonic Team fucking cared about aesthetics. It's really depressing the way they've gone. Now I want items. Oh, this is actually the main path there. Still. Not really too much of a biggie actually. 
Apologies for my commentary just going a bit wank. It's just my sleep is out of whack, so I'm a little tired. Oh god, these murals and background fire. Now, obviously, a lot. It isn't exactly that impressive nowadays, but like taking into the context of being back in their days. Oh hell, just the fact that it's fucking 16 bit. This, these graphics hold up very well due to their stylization. And. We just yeet ourselves. And we get game overed. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, just a checkerboard floor and the vibrant greenery. Okay, what am I doing? I just killed all my speed doing that. I. I was being a real gamer until I pulled that fucking Aaron Hansen. Oh well. Oh, this ain't the section, that's the next act. <laughs> so yeah, I was doing quite well, but then... Memory betrayed me. As fucking always. Oh, 69, nice. No! Don't you fucking dare! Don't you fucking dare game. So yeah, as you could see from my panic, I really didn't want to miss the special stage ring, because the oh, thing about the special stage ring is... There we go. So, let's just avoid falling out there. And then... Yeah. Because, like, I could... I could just grind for rings, but the thing is... You get a lot more points by actually succeeding. It isn't the type of slot that allows for it, and that's how you avoid those rolling spikes. Wait, this is Act 3, why am I bothering? Oh my god. And again. So yeah, this is an example of how bad not having the spin dash actually is. Because, uh, my god, it does slow down these games. And it is shocking that the spin dash wasn't actually made specifically for the first Sonic game. It was based on criticisms of this one. And Marble Zone. My god, I... Marble Zone is my fucking guilty pleasure despite me keeping on dying to it within these little playthroughs because like yeah I'm not even gonna pretend that this is my first attempt at playing this I'm tired that was a mistake but I don't get all the time to record so just suck it up but yeah people complain a lot about this stage with noting how slow it is but honestly I don't I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Noting now slow it is, but honestly, you can keep a decent sense of momentum throughout. Like, sure, there are the block sections, which I will admit are painfully slow, but everything else, you can sort of blitz through it. Like, you know... Yeah, you can just, like, build up decent bit of speed. And keep doing it. You just gotta do slight pauses. You can't just... It's not like modern games where you can just hold forwards to win. No, you do actually need to think a little bit. It's all about meeting those cycles. Which I don't think I did. No. Okay, there's no... 
that fire really could do me to be fair. Okay, and then... Ah! Sonic's a bitch with momentum sometimes in this game. Holy fuck. And then, of course, you don't have much of a window to actually get in there. That is one annoying thing. Like, you can meet the requirements for a special stage and still miss out on it. Like, I appreciate being able to skip it if you don't want it. That's fairly good for speedrunning, but like... Holy fuck, if you actually want to get the emeralds, it is a bloody pain in the arsehole. This lava section is just fucking piss easy unless you get absolutely raped by the spike like that. Except, you know, crush damage instead, so it's even worse. And then just get on here. Okay, I pressed down there. God damn it. <laughs> Where's the fucking checkpoint? While this level is definitely difficult, it is like... I know, it's fairly well designed, like... Like, that wasn't the game being unfair, that's just me rushing shit. I'll give the game a few more attempts. There we go, you wait for the cycle, that's how you do video games. Isn't that magical? But yeah, like, the music in this, the aesthetics, and... The design is actually alright. It's not exactly geared towards speed like most people think Sonic should. Or shouldn't, depending on who you fucking ask, because... The fan base is so bloody divided on literally everything. But like, yeah, it's just... And there you go, I've proved that I can actually do that section. Not that I'm actually able to avoid caterpillars though. They're still my kryptonite apparently. Okay, that works. This is the thing that I want. And yeah. This is just like the game actually rewarding exploration. And that's the game being a bitch with momentum again. Not so much that, you know, momentum is bad. It's just that it is really easy to slip off platforms in this. And I am going to be really careful because I don't want to build up too much. And yet... The thing with Sonic is, there is definitely a high skill ceiling with getting the emeralds and shit, and I entirely missed. So you need to build up a little bit of momentum, and yeah, my jump button locked up, what the fuck. Don't get butt raped. Well, I mean, you avoided the spike play on, just... You didn't keep avoiding things. Okay, so B. Yep, just a nice little roll. This game actually rewards memorization, and I'm going to see if if I'm gonna get a game over by rushing. Holy fuck! God, I love that sound. I don't like restarting again though. <laughs> so yeah, Green Hill. Oh my god, the headphones just fix themselves and it's blasting my ears. I feel pain. But yeah, let's try get 100 rings in order to, you know. Okay, I... I missed out on the rings, but at least I'm getting a big point score. And because of that, we actually end up going to a special stage. Now, a special thing about special stages is 
the fact that we can can gather a fuck ton of rings inside them. Or we can just entirely fail. That that's also an option. Alright, oh, I'm there's actually a path back here. That is interesting. And we're not getting that special stage. But we can show off the speed shoes. They send you so fast that you can literally crash into fucking everything. And here's the invulnerability. Do we still have the speed shoe? Yes we do. How long does speed shoe last? Okay, I think it's over. It ended midair, fair enough. But yeah. That section where we got the invulnerability, yeah, you can still die there with the invulnerability. The only thing that really protected you was just... <sighs> I just want to build up a bit of speed to... So yeah, that is why you need fucking spin dash in these games. Even with how slow I am actually going, you'll notice that like I'm literally at the boss within fucking a minute. And that's with me fishing for items because I want to get that score for them lives. One thing that is nice is the introduction of all the animations and that. Like, a lot of people say, oh, graphics don't matter in Sonic Gaming, but Sonic game, but you know, the early Sonic games pretty much did prove that, yes, graphics were quite important. And then, of course, there was actual fucking storytelling inside the games. Like, sure, it's only, like, animals coming in out of capsules, or the same guy being the enemy in all of the levels, but, you know, it is still fairly impressive noting everything. Fucking temple filled with lava. Okay, I haven't actually gone hit by those spikes thus far. I'm definitely getting a bit more tired. Should probably sleep soon to be fair, but just really don't want to. Alright, yeah, let's go for the shield. Little bit of rewarded exploration, don't. And here's some more Sonic 1 fucking bullshittery. But at least we get the shield. So this time we're actually gonna go a little slower. Just enough to spawn the block. Still fall in the lava because I'm pulling out it and now enhancing, but... I don't know, if there's one thing I want to catch on from me, it's that our enhancing is fucking crap. <laughs> like, you know, I'm even talking about his ego at today, it's just like... Well, it's not so much that he was crap back then, like, his critiques, his reviews were still fairly crap, and his sense of humour was, but... The animation quality? I'll, I'll give him that, he was a great animator. And I don't really blame him for going lazy, because, like, you know... If you could get paid for playing video games, wouldn't you? Like, you know, be honest. Nobody has pride about working in fucking fast food or retail. The only people who do are just ray up their fucking ass. Like, you know, oh, I'm better than these people who are more successful than me because I break my back doing stuff. When a lot of the time they don't actually do much effort. They just do the bare minimum to get paid, which... It's, it's valid. It's just like inflated sense of self-purpose, you know. Anyway. 
boy, these bats are just something. And it is actually a bit annoying that I have to jump in order to collect my rings, but... And that ring decided to die. But yeah, as you can see, this really isn't that slow of a stage. Like, you know, I'm at this stupid slow section when there's a minute and I should probably hurry up. There we go. And already... Da, da, da. And that cancelled all my sounds. Nice. And then I'm just quickly gonna speed run my way over here. I don't really care that much. Okay. Oh good, I did sparing. Thank you, pass me. But yeah. This game definitely does reward exploration, but not in the way where, you know, exploration is required to get decently good at the game, but more so just like... You can skip all of the collectibles and still be completely fine. It's just, if you want to slow down and explore, it helps you quite a bit. There's both merit to playing fast and playing slow. Playing fast gives you more points in order to get those, you know, I'm gonna slow down a bit because there literally hasn't been a single fucking checkpoint. And it's like, bruh, I really need that checkpoint. Fucking time it. <laughs> And then here is some rings. But yeah, just like 100k, it's just like... Okay, sure, do it like that, you dumb game. Just deny me my points, why not? No. Ah, oh, you bitch, I got his head. Don't even try to deny me that one. And yeah, this isn't exactly about speed anymore. I just want to survive this. I'm doing terribly with this boost, but whatever. And I missed the cycle. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the aesthetics. Just like, you know. Well, what can I really say about them aside from, you know... You know, the big forest, the mountains in the background, the purple ruins, the red lava, the nice calming music, the ab the actual, like, difference between underground and above ground sections. This is, like, you know, this game, while it is shitter than all of the others, that doesn't mean that it is flat out bad. It's just like, you know. You can tell that there's been improvement, let's say that. Especially with Sonic 3, like holy shit. That game is just insane compared to... ...his past entries. Like sure, some people prefer Sonic 2, but like... Sonic 3 is where shit's at. There's a reason why the Mania team decided to rip off most of Sonic 3, because, like, there's a reason why it's so legendary. One thing I will say is this song does get annoying after a while. Like, Sonic 1 does have good music, but it's not nearly on the level of the later games where, you know, Okay, well, 
I entirely ran away from the thing, so that's my bad. So now I go wait. Okay, so yeah, this waiting section is actually a bit bullshit, along with the other one where I got the one up from. First game syndrome. Isn't it fun to wait in a speed game? There we go. And then of course we go here. Yep, just like back into the thing you were trying to avoid. Well done, Aaron. Oh, that's my fault. I should have looked up. <laughs> and there's no checkpoints within this. So, yeah, I do like the level design, but it does definitely suffer from a lack of checkpoints. Which is a shame, because this game is actually pretty fun. Like, sure, it's not as good as the later Sonic games. Okay, but yeah, after this I'm probably gonna sleep a bit. Because I'm too tired to play this. This is actually like a bit draining. No, I'm having fun, it's just, you know. If I get further, then that's fine. We take those. But if I don't, then I'm gonna just use save states the next run. Well, no, I, I want that shield. There goes the no save state challenge. I am going to use save states next time. But yeah, at least my recording equipment is set up, so, um... Yeah, I'm gonna upload these, and then just, like... Next videos are gonna be a bit more formula... Are going to be split into zones. For now, though, I'm gonna turn off the console and just... Enjoy myself a different way because I am getting a bit annoyed at failing my challenge and I'll retry it within a live stream